I haven't actually watched this yet, so... And of course it's gonna look... Okay, there we go. It's going. It's working. I haven't actually watched this version. I watched, like, a live version they did. So they're brother and sister? The Akinon musician? Yeah. Um, the brother's the older one, he's gonna be 18, she's gonna be 14. What the f***? <laughs> Jesus, man, I thought she was like 16, 17! No, no, she's gonna be 14. The first time I remember seeing these people, they were on, uh... What's the thing called? Running Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, when they went to YG. YG? Yeah. And then I also saw them, I think, on Infinite Challenge as well. And then that was when Haha ha wanted to get, like, e at YG's... The cafeteria. cafeteria. Yeah. yeah. I like the live version. It was so dope. Yeah. She's, she has to be 16. Stop lying to me. No, she's gonna be 14. 16, 17. No, she's gonna be 14 because he's gonna be 18. She's like totally stalking that one dude. Yep. Well, what's the premise of this? Why is she stalking him? Like, is she in love? Oh, or? Yeah, it's her first crush. And I totally believe it too, because like, I feel like that's the way she would actually react or act around somebody, because she's at that age. Mm. And I like, um, I like her brother. He just in this video, especially in the lives, live versions, he, he kind of reminds me of like a younger G Dragon almost. This is their first song, like as like their debut or. Mm -hmm. So fresh, man. You know he, you know he wrote everything for this album. It's good. Every song he wrote it, and uh, YG said that he only helped with the choreography in this. That's it. There's choreography. When the live ones. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, um, he said YG said because he didn't know a lot about their type of music, so you let him write and produce the entire thing. That's good. Cause like. When you listen to like JYP stuff, like I'm not hating, I love JYP, but like you can see there's, whether it's in the lyrics or in the song, you can hear JYP's yeah, touch on it, yeah. yeah. But like YG, he lets his artist kind of do like whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah. So he's like, go, go for it, have yeah. fun. Especially when you hear like differences between Big Bang, 21, mm -hmm. and now this group, yeah. different styles all around. And I love it. Wait, what just happened? So I just stopped watching it for like 30 <laughs> seconds. Why are you making me watch a sad video? It's her first crush, but she's the third wheel. Don't show me these things. This it's, it's become sad now. Glenn, why do you watch like these sad videos, like that Hong Dae Kwong one that I haven't edited yet? That was that, that was an sad. Awesome, yeah, but it's such a good song. Yeah, this is incredibly sad. F for showing this for me, man. To me. But you like it. I like the song. Well, yeah, but you have to like, you want to do the reaction to this one. I'm about to go watch some girls react to this. I'm going to see some crying, man. Jeez, that's sad. But, um, I think the best part that uh, about their group is because I remember YG produced um, uh, Seven's first album, um, Big Bang's first album, all their first albums, he was he had a lot of touch and hands on it, and now later he doesn't, and he took that approach with um, Macadon and letting them do their own stuff. Interesting. I really like this song, so I'll, I'm a fan of uh, Macadon musician. I mean, I, I dig it. I, I love the style they have. It's very different for YG. And that's something I look for in like the diversity of the artists, you know. And then um, he does have what two more groups debuting? Well, he has Winter coming out sometime in the future. Win Winter then, feels like a mini Big Bang, and I'm not liking that so mm -hmm. far. He's gonna have another girl group come out, I think, kind of this year. They said he said that's good. So didn't he have a girl group, but they ducked out because like he Lee sucks it. Yeah. It was Lee He. Um, did you watch Michelle? Um, no, I have not. She she sounds like Bomb Park a lot. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, he had those two, and then I, I don't know what the other two have done yet. Well, I don't know what YG is planning. No, no I don't. All I know is that there's going to be millions of delays, and I hope Big Bang comes out with something before the guys enlist, and, uh, because I think it's top first. Stop! Just stop it! You're going to make everyone cry, Glenn. You've showed them a sad music video, and now you're talking about Big Bang leaving. I just you mentioned started it. it. I you just mentioned it. it. And I just said it was top that was going to be first. And, and now you've mentioned, like, one of the favorites of the group leaving first. They're sad. all favorites. I'd say... If anyone was the least popular, it would have to be... That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Day, Day popular. No, 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 don't even start. You're gonna, you're gonna get so much hate. Yeah. There is no least favorite member. They're all favorite members. Well, no, no, I was, I was gonna say Day Sun's popular because of his variety. Singity's popular because he's the youngest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Top's loved because of his voice. Yeah. G's loved because of, like, what he's doing for Korea right now. And who did I just miss out? Tang. He's popular because... With the women? Yeah, he's just... He takes off his shirt. He's hella swag, man. Yeah, he is. Hella fresh. So, yes, we don't hate any member of Big Bang. Glenn oh. hates them all, so... More fans for me. No. More no. fans for no. me. No. <laughs> yeah. Glenn hates Top because he's beautiful. He is that, beautiful. That's what did it. No. Alright, so, that, thanks for watching. Keep your annotations on. Fucking stop <laughs> that shit! <laughs>